Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here. Mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, and even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. As always, if you're already subscribed, thank you again so much for being here and welcome back. Today I have my November Be Our Guest Express box. It did show up in their holiday box, which I love. They're getting really well known for their box artwork. I just got these fabulous holiday ears in my Christmas Be Our Guest Express box, so it seemed appropriate to wear them today. We're still technically in the holiday season. I don't think there'll be any holiday items in this box though. Now I did skip my December box with them because I was getting their Christmas box and hopefully I'll be able to get back on track. I've been kind of skipping every other month with them because they've had so many shipping delays and I always like to make sure that before I renew, I receive the last box that I paid for. Now I do kind of their middle tier, which is the Enchanted Rose box, which is $65. I believe they have boxes for as little as like $30 all the way up into the hundreds. But right now their shipping is pretty expensive. I pay almost $20 in shipping. So normally with a Disney box, I'm looking for a value of about 10% above what I paid, which would only be $650 more. So just around $70. And that's just to reflect the fact that I usually get a 10% discount on Disney merch at the park as an annual pass holder but in this case because the shipping is so expensive I would really love that to be covered in the total value of my box in which case I would be looking for a value of like $85 which I'm pretty sure I won't get but we are looking for like I said kind of a higher retail value with this box until they are able to work something out with one of the shipping carriers which I do hope is soon because I have really enjoyed the boxes that I've received from Be Our Guest Express they have a very detailed uh, customization preferences uh, questionnaire that you fill out when you first sign up to make sure that you really get boxes that you love and I try to keep that as updated as possible it's not really easy to update these days um, but hopefully they make that a little bit more accessible in the future especially now that they have customers who have been around for several months at a time so inside the beautiful box which again I do think this would be such a great storage box for like holiday decor not necessarily just Disney but it's nice and deep and it's just really really pretty Pretty. Um, it's got some red tissue paper on the inside that just says ho 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 so again even though it's my no no November box it didn't actually show up until December 23rd uh, so definitely still got some holiday vibes to it and in my holiday box as well as this one they did kind of include like a little Santa sack as kind of part of the packaging which I think is great because it's a nice reusable like drawstring bag it would be great to carry your gifts uh, over to another house I think it's just like one size because this is a, the big one that I got in the last one and there's just some stuff way down here in the bottom now usually there is like a packing list so here it is found it kind of hidden there on the bottom maybe it was tucked along the side so I will look at the packing list at the end now this uh, subscription usually has sort of a like focus on artistic work but they really really like favor I feel like Thomas Kincaid and that's just not my personal art style but they do usually include like a beautiful postcard this one has um, Belle and the Beast dancing in the snow it says it's beauty and the beast winter enchantment by thomas kincaid studio so i do like that and if you like to collect those kinds of like postcards and stuff it's really fun you know so especially if you're someone who like changes out your like seasonal decor so i'm just going to pull everything out and try not to actually look at the items in too much detail so you guys can have some surprise with me so i'm pulling things out they're not individually wrapped so i kind of already know what some of the items are but let me just feel around in the bag i think that's it i think we just got three items so we'll see it we'll double check when we do get to the packing list but let's go ahead and take a look at the biggest item which is this really cute lounge fly wristlet and some of you guys know I love the movie Wall-E so I have actually had this on wish list with some other Disney subscriptions and then I kind of go back and forth because I don't use wristlets a lot you guys know I have a ridiculous number now of mini backpacks but I do love Wall-E and I do love that it is an actual wristlet that has a detachable strap and that is key to me ever actually using something but I just think it is so adorable his little eyes always make me so happy and this just their their little romance with the plant and then on the back let's see what it looks like we've got the um 
we've got the lounge fly like placard little emblem they always do like a big chunky one sometimes i feel like it works and sometimes i feel like it's a bit munch but it is the, kind of their signature and then we've got wally and eve again she's like zip, zipping up into the air so this is like a nice outside pocket let me oh it's kind of like a wallet so let me open it up so on that flap that just snapped open and then we've got like this wallet feature where there's a bunch of card holders this is where you would put your money it's actually nice and flexible now i do have a wally uh, mini backpack that does have this same lining design which is adorable so this would be really cute to have like in that mini backpack and then you know if you had to like run to do something you could leave the backpack and just have your essentials in here it's really like nice and flat and it's very soft sometimes the faux leather that loungefly uses i feel like is a little Little bit stiff especially with the wallets and it actually makes them like kind of hard to get into like I just got a really cute wallet and it's like I really had to stuff the cards in there but these feel actually like more usable and it's, it is like small enough even though you know you have these cutouts that kind of jut up where I do think you could use it as a wallet uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take this tissue paper off because I just realized that the zip uh, pole is actually a little leaf which is so cute there's actually two of them which I think is so fun to have that pop of green so that is lovely and I do like the gold hardware of course and then let's go ahead and open that zipper container and see what we've got so I, it's actually really big. I, I was thinking this is nice because I do like wallets that have like somewhere to put your change. Like when they have wallets where there's no like little coin purse with that little toggle top or at least a zip top. But then a lot of times when there is like a little zipper pouch, it's really hard to get into, but this is like a big container. So I kind of feel like it would be a shame to just use it for change. But at least if I did put change in there, I could get in there and actually, you know, see what I have. Like the other pockets that I have in other lounge fly wallets, are so stiff and so hard to like actually see what you have and I feel like if you're ever actually using change because you're trying to do exact change you're trying to do it kind of quickly so this is actually a very like functional little like wallet slash wristlet um, I feel like this is actually even probably big enough where I could slip my phone in there so this might actually be used more than I thought so I'm really happy that they sent this to me like I said it wasn't like necessarily on my wish list or preferences with Be Our Guest Express um, but Wally definitely is one of my favorite movies so it's really cute I actually like it more than I thought I would seeing it and feeling it in person now the next item I am seeing is an item that I do already have from another subscription company um, but it looks like we all might have a theme here it's a little Wally coin purse so here it is on one side it is also lounge fly so it's really really cute and then on this side we've got again Wally and Eve with some little embroidered hearts which is a kind of a nice detail says this is worth $16.90 it has this little like tassel and beads on the zip which I think is cute I think that price on there is kind of ridiculous uh $16.90 for this little pouch because it doesn't really have anything inside except for like a giant tag and like this Wally lining um so I'll probably pass this on to someone else eventually because like I said I already do have one of these which I thought would be great just to organize things for smaller items maybe like cords or something in my bigger Wally backpack but I definitely don't need like two of them because uh, then that would just get confusing because then it wouldn't be that organized at all because I'd wonder which of my two Wally pouches it was in so one of these days I'll have to do like a Disney giveaway because there are some items that I've received in different uh, subscription boxes that are either duplicates or I just feel like someone else would get more use out of them so if you guys would be interested in that let me know in the comments below my Disney fans all right looks like we've got one more item and it came in a fancy box so you always gotta love the fancy boxes so let me open this up. Hopefully it's not taped. Ooh, even more fancy little pouch inside. So I'm guessing it's a jewelry piece, which is nice. Uh, let's see what we've got. It is, and it looks like, oh, this is like a mixed metal thing. Now you guys know I generally like gold tones, but I feel like a lot of like Disney jewelry comes in like silver and white gold. So it's in a little, this is a themed box because it is a Wally and Eve necklace. It's got a couple little charms. So hopefully I can show you and it's, it's, we've got one in gold, one in rose gold and one in silver. So here it is. I'll definitely show you guys over on Instagram so you can see. So the chain is silver. Wally is in gold. Then in rose gold, there's a little heart that says Wally and Eve. 
And then we've got Eve. She's really tiny. And usually I think of Eve as being the bigger of the two and she is in silver. So that is really, really cute. Cute little, um, little nod to Disney and like their little romance. I think that's really, really sweet. Let me just show you guys. So here I've got uh, Eve and Wally in the front and the heart is kind of hidden in the back. So I do like that it is mixed metal. It's kind of fun because it's going to go with anything. But man, I have so many fun accessories to wear when the parks finally open. I could definitely do like a whole Wally -E bounding thing now because I've got uh, so many bags and now I've got a bunch of jewelry as well. And I do think this is really, really pretty. So um, and it's delicate enough. You know, I, I need to be better because I just haven't been like leaving the house very much as is the case with I think most of us. So I haven't really been accessorizing outside of the house but I need to like just kind of wear stuff like that for fun on any given day, you know, just to kind of zhuzh things up. So let's go ahead and take a look at our packing slip. And again, I think it's so pretty, all of that artwork that they do for all of their boxes and these little folders. Um, we'll see what it says. So it's kind of nice. They always actually like um, hand write this, at least at this point. And they do the, the total for you. They total up the retail value. So it says my box was packed by Brian. So this is the first time I've gotten a box packed by Brian. And he put a little like Mickey head there. It says we got the Disney Wally necklace, which has a value of $28.99, which that seems about right for like what I would pay like in the parks. Um, the Wally wristlet, which is $39.90, which again, like lounge fly wallets and wristlets are all about $40. And then the little coin purse, which I think is a little bit overpriced, is $16.90. So the total retail value of the box was $85.79, which is actually kind of what we were looking for, right? It was looking, we were looking for $65 plus the like $18 and change in, in shipping and tax. It's closer to 20 so I definitely got my my value I got my my money's worth which I am thrilled with like because I really just didn't think that was going to be possible so good job Brian really appreciate it I think this might be like one of the first times I've actually gotten a themed box like all the way through where all of the items were from like the same franchise so even though there's a duplicate I understand why and I'm I'm totally fine with it and it's like a smaller duplicate you know it's not like a big like mini backpack where I'd be kind of bummed uh, to have like a duplicate so I think this was a great box for my November box and I'm really excited let me know in the comments below if you'd be interested in me trying a different subscription tier I would probably be leaning more towards like maybe a lower tier and seeing what kind of goodies we could get just for like budget sake of course but I kind of did all of my like splurging with one-time boxes and like bigger higher ticket boxes for the holiday season just because you know it's always fun um, but now that we're moving into a new year fresh start want to kind of like ease off and hopefully the parks here open here really soon I, I am keeping my fingers crossed that by this time next year we're, we're back in the parks doing all of our family and holiday traditions if you guys enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up it does really help my channel out and hopefully I see you all very very soon in my next unboxing